guys, Long Haul Larry, and we are out at the shop. There's my motel, <laughs> Big Blue. Um, we have been out here, we got out here, we dropped our load that we brought from uh, Texas, and we actually dropped it at the yard, and the boss man's dad is going to actually deliver this load. But I have a driver that came in, I just met up with him. Um, and he um, he brought in R70. I've been going through all these trailers and just checking them, doing a once over, and I just did uh, R70. And I'm I'm checking all the inflation systems, trying to get these set correctly and everything. I'm working with Hendrickson on this. I've uh, been talking with him back and forth, trying to pinpoint the problems so we can get these things operating at what they're supposed to be doing, so our tires are going to last longer. Um, I checked this one and this one was set at 100 PSI cold, but it was set at 120 deflate, which is not that big of a deal. But what happened is I actually found uh, there's a big air leak and it's in the inflation system. I'm not going to walk down there, but there's a, the inflation system comes out of the box and it goes up to a junction box and then there's four air lines that come off that goes down into, and it goes into the axle and then there's like a like a tube that goes out the axle and sticks out into the hub and then there's like a rubber grommet and there's a little spinner deal that's on there and that provides the air out to the hub and then there's the two hoses that go to the tire well there's somewhere inside that axle there's a leak and it's on that tube or something because there is a breather hose that is on the axle that is supposed to relieve pressure if there is a leak like this and it's leaking and you hold your finger on it and it sits there and just it stops the leak, and you hold it on there for 30 seconds, let it off, and it's like, Phew! you know, it builds up pretty good. So there's a pretty good leak in the system there. Um, I sent a message to the boss, and I told him, I said, there's really nothing I can do with this because I don't have the parts. I don't know if the tube inside the axle is cracked. I don't have that. There's a rubber grommet that's on the outside in the axle assembly in the hub. I don't have that. There's a little spinner deal that sits in there that hooks up to the tube. And there's an O-ring in there and stuff. I don't have that. So I don't have any of the parts to fix it, so don't pay for me to tear it apart. So I got that all done as far as I can go. And um, I'm working on a truck, and that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna actually replace his lock. His lock on his driver's side door does not open. All right, guys, so we're gonna be doing this here. Um, the keys for the truck actually do not work in this lock. The driver's not able to unlock this door. It's been like this for a long time. And the boss wanted me to fix it, and I'm like, well, how do you want me to fix that? Um, I guess they installed a new lock in this truck. But I guess they, I guess they didn't realize there was a different key. I don't know what happened. I think the boss and the driver did it together. But they put a lock in there, and the key doesn't match up to the key for the rest of it. And I don't know what they did with the other key. But what we're gonna do is, uh, I talked to the boss about it and said, you can go to Kenworth and actually get a lock if you take them to serial number and they'll make one that actually fits the key for the truck. So this key should work in this. Yep. So this key will work in the truck and it also works in the lock. So now I have to take apart this door. Right, I forgot to hit the record button, but um, there is basically, there's one, two, three screws down on the bottom of the panel here. And then uh, behind the speaker, there's another screw. And now I'm taking this off. It looks like it just popped off. It's like that. And there's usually screws back here on the door handle part of it. Yep. So we got, looks like two screws here. Screw there. And screw here. They 
usually it'll go up. All right, so basically, I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see this, but there the key is over there. So I have to get the door handle assembly out. So it looks like it's just one screw there. It's got a torque bit on it. It is a uh, T30 torque bit. screw out so it's going to be in here try to get this out still on the deal here so it doesn't drop into the bottom of the door come on that's like that brain surgery game or whatever. All right. So basically, we got to change out this right here, which is pretty simple. So it looks just like, and it's going to come off of there. Gotta take our come on. There we go. And I'm guessing that just this little snap deal comes off. Just like so. And then the lock mechanism should just pop out. There it goes. Just like so. So I've never done this before, but you just gotta look at things and figure them out. You gotta do some figuring, using your toes and your everything else to count it up. So there we go. So now we'll just put this piece back in. So, see, key don't work. And this little clip here will go in here, and this is what holds the lock mechanism in. Just like so. Pretty simple. I'm going to tell you guys, this screw in here is a booger to get back in. Basically what happened is I had to pull the door panel back off, feed it through so it's sticking through and it kind of put it in and hold the screwdriver on it so it holds it in position and kind of slide it down until I felt it go in there. And then I got it, it started now. So now it's the threads are started. So now I can put this back in down here. That is much better, much better. Couldn't find my degreaser sprayer. 
I just used some uh, kaboom. It was in the bathroom. I got a bunch of it off. There we go. Well, the last thing I have is to put the control module back in for the windows and all that. I left it out so I could clean around it. Okay, so that light does work. I have it sitting in the hole. Here we go. Alright, let me clean all my tools and we'll see if everything works. Alright, we got everything all cleaned up. Got most of that grease off of there. It's a lot better. I'll tell the driver about it. it it'll be sticky and stuff. And um, so he might want it to uh, wipe some other stuff on there and clean it up a little more. But it'll be kind of sticky on his arm. I've used before just the grease or stuff sticky. But um, everything is all working here so far. Let's double check the lock. Can works, you can't lock them. You can't hit the lock and unlock the door. You actually have to lock them with a key. Oh, there we go. This driver's going to be so happy. <laughs> He's going to be so happy about this. So let's check it on the inside. This driver actually, is a, he keeps his truck clean. It's not like, it, I mean, it's clean. It's not like this is a massive greasy and gray, you know. It's just, you know, if you're a trucker and you actually get out and, you know, tighten something up or mess with something. You get grease on your stuff, and when you get in the truck, you know, you get grease on your door. And it sticks on here really bad. Alright, let's see if we hit the lock. Perfect. I don't know where the little thing is here. Let's put this up just a little more so it doesn't go so far in there. I didn't lose that. There's a little plastic thing that snaps in there. I don't know where that is. So that works. Let's turn the key on. Make sure everything works. Okay, windows. Had everything apart, so. Okay. Okay. Everything is working. Mirror heater comes on. Yeah, so a lot of you guys say, oh, hey, you know, um, I think I saw Big Blue or something like that. Yeah, there is other Kenworths running. Um, there's this guy here, he runs, and he's got, I, I think this is the same exact year as Big Blue. Um, and there's also a guy that's out of Wisconsin too. There's a guy that, um, I think he lives in LeClaire or something like that. He does a lot more kind of local stuff, and then he comes out here once in a while, brings a load out here to out east, and then goes back. Um, he has a Kenworth too. He has 796. He's the one who had 792 and then brought that one in and in such bad shape. And, and the guy who had 796, he got himself a new Volvo. And and um, and so the other, he got the other Kenworth. So it's a pretty good upgrade for him. Um, I'm, I was, I was, when I unhooked the trailer, I was like, oh, look at this. Kingpin release. Guess what, guys? I got the RAM to fix mine, too. I gotta, as soon as I can get time to fix it. But I'm gonna do something naughty. I'm going to lock the driver's keys in here. So when he shows up, he's gonna be like freaking out. You're like, my door's locked, I can't get in. And I'm gonna say, hey, why don't you try your new key? He's gonna be really happy. He is, he's gonna be really happy because that's that was a, such a pain in the butt for him. Do 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 do. Let's 
uh, there's no holder thing here for this handle. I saw the driver had just a uh, bungee cord on. I've, I've hauled this trailer before. I'm gonna say something to boss. He needs to, he needs to get this to my house, and I'll weld the handle up. <clears throat> I can't, I can't um, get a welder down here, and um, and I can't. Uh, it's just too tight to back a trailer up in there. I could try, but there's stuff right on the corner, so I don't want to chance it. So I'm all done with this stuff. Uh, our 70 and 797 got everything done except for that leaking thing back like here and um, don't have the parts for that so he's going to take them to utility and then that CB thing I finally I was just like he was like oh just stop and pick up what you need at a CB shop and all the CB shops I came by were closed it was too late at night and I got up here and there's one in by Hagerstown I think and then the boss told me that 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 uh, one was had been shut down so he was like you know what I'll just have the driver stop at a CB shop and they'll come right out and fix it you just pull in there and say hey my hands off they'll come out there but sell you the deal come out there with their crimp things and crimp it and be done with it and you know probably 25 30 dollars to be done with so that's what he's gonna have them do so I'm gonna let you guys go I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day great night as they watch this here video and if you're not well certainly try this all over again tomorrow I will catch you guys later time to jump back on 794